It took us one hour to get from start to here. So it doesn't take that long. Cut it out like we did. Works out pretty good. I will be having a GoPro video of this that will be much more detailed. Just use a sawzall. Got real close. You don't have to have a special saw. Watch out for wires. Sometimes they do run in the floor. And pipes. <laughs> don't cut these. Some of the worst part. Don't like the dust. If you do your trailer before it gets this bad, you'd be way better off, I promise. Getting ready to put all our framing in to accept our new plywood. Just in the air. I wait. We took Rhino roofing felt, synthetic, turned it into underbelly that was basically gone, as you've seen, especially on these outside edges. I like the way Paul folded his up. I can't show you mine. Doesn't look as good as his. <laughs> you showed me how to do it. I did show, I showed him how to do it and his still looks better. That's good to have a good man with you working. You do a better job than you do. All right, I'll show mine. <laughs> All right, this is how far we made it. We got the floors tore out. This is a big one, big closet to do and everything. Tore out the floors, reframed all the walls. You can see all the walls, all the exterior. In the interiors, whatever had to be done, reframed around the doorways. Um, the underbelly was in a wreck of a shape. So this is basically what we did. If you want a close-up view here. You just cut some new Rhino roofing felt paper and, and use some <coughs> multi-purpose adhesive 3M, sprayed it on the back, sprayed it on the wood, stuck it right there. Gave us a nice, nice trough that our insulation will sit in. Um, the underbelly under this heating duct was completely gone. So we just took big pieces and, and did with the 3M and now we got a new underbelly. So it's not the best new underbelly, but it's an underbelly better than it was. And that's the most important part, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow.